Hey there guys, so I'm finally back to Qatar and today I'm going to be doing a massive makeup haul for you guys. This was actually supposed to be just a big haul with everything in it, but since I got a lot a lot of stuff from my vacation, I decided to split it into two videos. So this first video is going to be just makeup and skincare, and the next video that I'm going to be uploading is for the random stuff. Just a disclaimer, this is going to be a very long ass video so you better get yourself a cup of tea or like water. Most of the stuff I got are from Korean beauty brands but I also got a few western brand makeup. So the first thing that I got was the e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzer powder. I got this the last time I went to the Philippines but I used it up so I got a new one. The next thing that I got isn't actually something I bought, but it was a gift from my aunt. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Vamp. I tried this on, it's a very pretty dark red lipstick, and it's really nice for the winter, so I'm really excited to use this. Now on to the massive, massive haul that I did on all of the Korean beauty brands that I went to in the Philippines. First place that I went to was the face shop. I've never gotten anything from the face shop before, but I heard that it's really nice, so I decided to give it a try. I actually went on two trips to the face shop. The first one was when I first went to SM Clark, I think, and the next time that I went into the face shop was at Alabang Town Center when I went out with my friends. So the first two things that I got were these ink gel stick lip things. I think they're like they're like lipsticks but they're very very soft in texture. I only got these because Suzy was endorsing it and y'all know I like K-pop so Suzy is a member of the girl group Miss A and that's from JYP that's why I decided to get. And I got them in two colors. The first color that I got is PK03 and the other one is PK PP02. And I think they have names. One is pink shock and one is talk about magenta. And they're very bright pinks, I guess, because I think they were the only colors that were available. And they were actually on sale, so they were buy one, get one free. So that's why I got two. They're kind of similar. I really like the texture. It's not very drying on the lips. Ah! I dropped it on the floor, dang it. Also from the face shop, I got the Ink Graphy brush pen liner, and this is a brown liner. And I've been looking for a really nice brown pen liner for a long time so I got this one. I actually don't like felt tip liners that much and I really appreciate that this is a brush tip liner and it's really thin. It says here that it's only 0.05 millimeters. I'm really excited to use this and I really like the packaging for um, face shop stuff. It looks really like sleek and classy. As you may or may not know, Korean makeup brands give a lot of free samples so I think in Korea the reason why they give you free samples is their mindset is that if you if they give you free samples, you're definitely gonna come back to the store and buy the full-size ones. I got two samples, like two little thingies from the face shop. But I feel like the face shop doesn't really give the, as many samples as other Korean brands like Etude House. Etude House gives a lot of samples. I don't actually know what this is, so I'm gonna have to translate what it's, what's written on it. But it says, Huan Sengo. It says Huan Sengo, and I don't know what it is. I only remember that the lady from the counter said I'm supposed to use one and then I'm going to use the other one after it so I'm gonna have to research on how to use this. Next place that I went to was Etude House and I definitely got way too much stuff that I needed from that place because everything is so cute. Everything is pink and they call you princess when you come into the store they're like hello princess and I'm like so cute. So I got a lot of stuff. I also went to Etude House on two separate occasions because, I don't know, I just couldn't leave the mall without going into the store. Because <laughs> it's just so darn cute, I almost dropped everything on the floor again. So the first thing that I got from Etude House was the Play 101 stick and I got this because IOI, which is another Korean girl group, was endorsing it. I feel like it's a really versatile product because you could use it on your cheeks, you can use it on your eyes, and you can use it on your lips. And I got this in the shade 15 and it just looks like this. It's like a crayon, a massive like crayon thing. And I've used this when we were in Hong Kong so I feel like it's a really nice color for the summer. But summer's 
almost over. Kind of sad about it. But I'm kind of okay because it's going to be cold and I love the cold. I love winter and I love Christmas. And I love my birthday. Birthday's coming up too. Kind of rambled a bit on that. The next thing that I got from Etude House is the Etude House Bling Eye Stick. And I got this in the shade Little Bear Star. So this is basically a stick eyeshadow. And it's in a really nice gold color. I only got this because I've seen a lot of beauty gurus use it. I was kind of curious if it's really good. And the next thing that I got is something that I got because I really needed a new one. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but I dyed my hair again. I got it dyed in the Philippines. It actually faded a bit because before it was a bit more red, like jean gray red. Now it's just brown, like light brown. But anyways, I got the Etude House Drawing Brow Duo. This has brow pencil on one end and then it has powder on the other end and I got this in the shade red brown which is which was perfect for my hair before not sure if it's still appropriate now the next thing that I got from Etude House was something that I actually got because I really needed it because I, I forgot my brow razor here in Qatar so I had to get a new one and this is it's called my beauty tool eyebrow razor and it's really cute because it looks like a flamingo and you open it up like that, and then you close it like that. So cute. The next thing that I got from Etude House is a sponge. And this is called My Beauty Tool again, Soft Cream Puff. And I really wanted to try one of these puffs because the beauty blender here in Kassar is really expensive. So I wanted to get a cheaper alternative, which is this puff thing from Etude House. And it was really cheap. I think it was only like 300 something pesos. I've tried it a couple of times, and it's... It's okay. Nothing really strikes me as special with like beauty blenders. The next thing that I got from Etude House is the Etude House Dear Darling Water Tint. I feel like this trip I went all out with like orange lipsticks and lip tints and lip thingies and everything is just orange. I don't know. This one is in the shade Orange Aid because I have the red lip tint from Benefit. I not I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called Benetint and I wanted to get an orange one and this is so much cheaper than the Benefit one And I feel like it's kind of the same thing. This was only a hundred something pesos or 200 not I don't really remember but it's less than 300 pesos and That's only like 30 something reals and the Benetint is hell expensive So from now on I'm gonna use these ones last thing that I bought from Etude House were these face masks. I love face masks I've been using face masks since like third year of high school. So I got two of them. One is in the aloe formulation and one is Manuka honey. I got these for me and my mom to try so yeah, really excited to use these. As I've said earlier, Etude House gives a lot of free samples. So I got a ton of free samples. The first sample that I got is the AC Clinic Acne Foam Cleanser. I don't know what it, this is. Acne Foam Cleanser. I don't know. It's a cleanser in a pad form, I guess. And the next sample that I got is like a set of three things. So I'm gonna peel this off of each other. The first one is a Precious Mineral BB Cream Cotton Fit SPF 30. This one I'm not sure of because the shade is probably not matching my skin tone. I'll probably give it to someone with a plate paler skin tone like my friend Chelsea. The next one is the Etude House Real Art moisture cleansing oil and it looks like this. It has a little Mona Lisa thing on it. What is Mona Lisa saying? Nun sobun nuga I don't know what that means. I just know that nun sob means eyelash and nuga means who. It has coconut oil, it has grapeseed oil, and apricot kernel oil. So I guess this is really good for your eyes. Is it for your eyes? And the next sample that I got from Etude House is the Etude House Tea Tree Face Mask. So this is another face mask for my face mask collection. The last sample that I got from Etude House is the Wonder Pore Special Wow Kit. And I've used products from the Wonder Pore collection thing before. And that was the toner thing. So inside of here... Wait, how do you open this? Inside of here, you have three products. It's hard to read the Korean. You have the Mogong Masaji Facial Soap. So facial soap. And then you have the 10-in-1 Ultra Mogong Chong Ryok Su. So I think this is the toner because it looks like the toner that I used before. It looks like that. And then lastly, you have the Mogong Gyeong Chong Serum. So this is a serum. This is the cutest little like 
serum. It's so tiny and cute. It's my smaller. Next place that I went to was Nature Republic. And y'all know that I love the Nature Republic aloe vera soothing gel thing. So I got two. The last time I ran out of these mid-year. So better to stock up on your soothing aloe vera gel things. These are definitely a lifesaver. If you're in the Philippines or if you have Nature Republic anywhere near you, go get these. The next thing that I got from Nature Republic were two mask sheets again for my mask collection. I got the one in full green tea and I got another one in cucumber. Too many mask packs. Too many. Right beside the Etude House place in Alabang Town Center was Tony Moly. And Tony Moly is actually endorsed by JYP artists, so I had to buy some stuff from there. And another reason why I went into Tony Moly was because they had a panda theme collection. So I got one glossy lip crayon, and this is in the shade Hot Pink. It's just so cute. Look at it. It's a little panda. It's the most adorable panda thing ever. And something that I've always wanted from Tony Moly were their petite bunny gloss bars. And I got these ones. These, this one, when I got it, it was on sale. They're so cute. They're just the cutest things ever. This one is in the shade Juicy Cherry. And this one is in the shade Juicy Grape. So I'm probably going to give this purple one to my mom because purple's her favorite color. I also got one single eyeshadow from Tony Moly and this is a matte eyeshadow in the shade Cookie Brown. And that's a really cute name for an eyeshadow, right? Tony Moly products suit my personality a bit more than Etude House because Etude House is a bit more like girly. It's a really nice brown color. The next thing that I got from Tony Moly is it looks kind of weird. It looks like a nipple. This side looks like a butt because it's supposed to be a peach. It's actually a peach hand cream. So you open up it up like this and then there's a little cover. Yeah, it looks like that. It smells really really nice and I love it even though it looks like a nipple. Just be careful when you bring this out of your bag and you're like, boom, nipple. So they gave me one free sample from Tony Moly and this is the Brightening Peeling Gel, Mild Peeling Gel with Flower Extract. I think you're only supposed to use this a certain amount of times per week. So I'm gonna have to research this again because everything is in Korean. And I only know how to read Hangul, but I don't understand most of it, so. The next place we went to after the Philippines was Hong Kong, so I was really excited to try some of the Korean brands that were in Hong Kong. Yeah, Angel, go to Hong Kong and buy Korean products, eat Korean food. While well, you're in freaking Hong Kong, I got a bunch of stuff from Innisfree because they didn't have Innisfree in the Philippines, but they did have one on Kimberly Street, I believe, in Hong Kong, and that was kind of close to where our hotel was. First thing that I was very, very excited about in his free was their cushions. I got two cushions. So basically, you have to like pick out a case for your cushions and I got two cases. So I got this li cute little like Tiffany blue one and this stripey one and I got two cushion thingies like the one that you put inside the cushion. Case. If you don't know what cushions are, they're basically like there's a cushion inside of your compact and it's soaked in BB cream. So you just open it up like this. You have the air cushion thingy. And this is really good because it's not like a regular sponge. It's it's a different kind of material. I think it's poly something. You open it up like that, and then you have the cushion inside. And you just dab the you just dab the air cushion on the other cushion, it basically dab the cushion on the other cushion. But it makes applying foundation or BB cream a whole lot easier because it doesn't apply too much. It just applies the correct amount of BB cream onto your face. Mine is in the shade N23. And the only problem that I have right now is that there isn't an Innisfree place near me or like in the Philippines. So unless I go to Hong Kong or anywhere else that has Innisfree, I can't get the refills. That's my only issue. They actually give you like these stickers to decorate your cushion packs with. So I put Angel on this one because that's my name and a little little box because it looks like a Tiffany, Tiffany box which is cute as F. On the other one I put CS because Angel in Korean is Chansa. So, si, chan, and sa, 
Get it? Right? It's cute. I got the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. I've seen this on a lot of YouTubers, like Korean beauty gurus. This is the reg their regular like sponge or like cushion. And you have the powder in there. It's just something to set your base with. The last thing that I got from Innisfree was their Powerproof Brush Liner. This is another brush tip liquid liner and it's also really thin just like the um, Face Shop one. This is in black. I tried to use it once but I feel like it's a bit difficult to get used to having the really thin tip. Oh, I almost forgot. I also got this from Etude House and this is the Silk Scarf Hair Treatment. And it's basically conditioner or like a treatment for your hair since I dyed my hair a lot of times this year and the past year, I decided to get myself a treatment to treat my damaged hair. I've used this once because it was included in the Etude House Bubble Hair Dye. It was really good and I decided to get the full-sized version. And it smells really nice. And the packaging is really cute too. It kind of looks like a Zoella product to be honest. Next place that I went to in Hong Kong was Style Nanda. And I was actually planning to buy a whole lot of stuff from Style Nanda, but it was really 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 expensive and I was really shocked because I was expecting it to be a lot cheaper because I checked out their website. I guess it's a lot cheaper if you buy Style Nanda online. Style Nanda actually sells mostly clothes and it's a Korean brand again but I decided to get one of their makeup products. So this is a Style Nanda 3 Concept Eyes Jumbo Lip Crayon and it's also in orange just like everything else I bought and it's called Pop Orange and I heard from Joanne Kim who is a Korean YouTuber that 3 Concept Eyes do a really good lip product. So I got this one and it's a really cute orange crayon thing. Maybe next time I'll, I'll buy some of their clothes but this, this was too much. The last beauty related place that I went to in Hong Kong is a place that if you go on a trip to Hong Kong you definitely can't miss out on and it is Sasa. Sasa is like it's like Sephora, but with Asian beauty brands, I guess. But to be honest, there wasn't any brand that I was particularly excited about, so I decided to hoard myself with more masks. The first thing that caught my eye was actually this set of masks that is in a box because it's freaking Cacao Talk character masks. And they're not just Cacao Talk brand, they're actually the faces of the Cacao Talk stickers. Okay. Wait, hold up. If you're not sure what Kakao Talk is, it's actually a Korean messaging app where you like text people and message people and call people. But anyways, this is this is actually from the face shop, but it's a set of masks that have the Kakao Talk characters faces on them. So when you put them on, you look like a Kakao Talk character. I feel like I'm saying Kakao Talk too much. But this has five masks in it. I don't know what their names are. The Pay Shop Character Mask Tube. What is Tube? Are there that is that their names? Oh yeah, it is their names. This is Tube and this is the little ducky thing. And this one is all peach. They have different formulations. So some of them are like soothing, moisturizing, brightening. A lot of face masks. Too much for one person. So I'm probably gonna share this with my friends or my family. And then my mom decided to get some more face masks for us to use. And she got the animal masks. I've seen a lot of YouTubers use these masks. And these are from the Berusum brand. She got one in Panda for me and she, she wanted to try one as well so she got the sheep one. As I've mentioned Kakao Talk earlier, I think it's the major messaging app in Korea. But I actually use another messaging app. It's called Line. I think it's Korean as well but it's under Naver. But I have a Kakao Talk. But I used, like to use the line more because all my friends are online. Saw these like masks thing, mask things with Kony on it. Kony is another sticker from line and it's a tone up mask. And I also got two of the three step clean nose packs also from line. Wait, what brand is this? It's called TPO. I haven't heard of that brand before, but it's a Korean brand. I'm really excited to use this because I have a lot of blackheads on my nose. So that is everything I got from my vacation. Well, not everything. Everything makeup related and skincare. I hope this video wasn't too long and rambly and boring for you guys. But yeah, see you guys in my next video and goodbye. Bye. Annyeong. Annyeong. Um, how do you say bye in Chinese? Oh, I think it's just bye-bye. Like, bye-bye. Bye. Annyeong. Chalga. Bye-bye.